Python dictionaries. All right, Python dictionaries. So a dictionary is a collection which has uh, a word and its meaning. All right. So something like this. So this dictionary, a dictionary is a collection which is unordered. Remember, this is not ordered. This is unordered, changeable and indexed. So you can fetch values with their respective indexes. All right. Now, in Python, dictionaries are written with curly brackets, as you can see over here, and they have uh, keys and values. All right, keys and values. So if you like, if you can see over here, we have a dictionary here. If I execute this, What do you see? This is a dictionary. All right. So brand is four. Model is Mustang. Year is 1964. All right. Now keys and values. Keys and values. Keys and values. Okay. So keys and values. These are two. This is key. This is value. This is key. This is value. This is key. This is value. All right. How do we access it? So you can access the items of a dictionary by referring to its key name. And uh, those key names will be inside uh, the square brackets. All right. How? C. So X is equal to this dictionary's model. So we actually accessed model. All right. So by the key, print X. Now let's execute it. See? What is the model? Mustang. So it is being printed over here. Mustang. That is how we access it. So in a dictionary, we use sort of fields, which we call keys and their literals, which we call values. So like we try to access a dictionary with their keys. So we look for a key and then we look for its meaning. So that is how the dictionary in Python works. Uh, there is also a method called get that will give you the same result as this dictionary. So we can be like um, uh, this dictionary dot get model. But since this dictionary dot get what key do we want to see model let's say a year okay you can see get works the same as uh, basically accessing directly with the key you can use get as well okay this is just there are two ways this is through objects and this is directly what are objects we will discuss when we will be studying object-oriented programming 
Now, let's say if you want to change uh, values, that would be very much the same. So what you can do is, uh, let's say you want to change model from uh, 1964 to 19, 2000. So what we will do, this, this dictionary, dot year is equal to 2000. And let's say we want to print this dictionary again. See, the year from 1964 has got changed to 2000. So this is pretty much easy to change the values of the keys. That is actually very easy. Okay, and if you want to loop through uh, the dictionary that is same in um, operator. So you can loop through a dictionary by using a for loop. And when looping through a dictionary, the written values are the keys of the dictionary, but there are methods to return the values as well. So we will be using the simpler one uh, for X in this dictionary. That will be the simpler one. For X in this dictionary, print X. So all values will be accessed. And if you want to treat this X separately, you can do that as well within the loop. That is very much easy. And uh, you can also uh, use other methods to access it. Uh, let's say we want to search through the dictionary if something is in this dictionary. So that would be very much easy if the key exists in the dictionary, let's say. So in, in thing, in. So how in operator works, if, if model in this dictionary print this dictionary model else print model doesn't exist. Okay, so the model is printed. Let's uh, delete this as well. Since the model exists, it is printed. If it would not be, then it would have printed. Print model does not exist. Uh, we don't need anything other than this. Uh, sometimes, yes, maybe sometimes we need to find the length of the dictionary that is similar length thing. What is the length of the dictionary? So we can be like print length of this dictionary. All right, so this will be printed. This is three. Why it is three? Because there are three items in it. Brand, Ford, Model, Mustang, year is 1964. Or uh, maybe you like to add items to it. And for that case, uh, that is very simple. Let's say brand, model, year, and I want to add color to it. All right, so color. So I'll be like big stationery. <coughs> this dictionary color is equal to white.
So you can see that uh, original dictionary that we created uh, was having three items, brand, model, and year, and we added color to it. Okay, so this color is now added, so this color is white. Okay, similarly, as brand is four, the color is white is added to it. All right, and then uh, uh, if you like to um, remove an item, you can use pop as we had this pop in uh, list. All right, so uh, dot pop. I, I want to remove, let's say, um, model. So this dictionary. Uh, this dictionary, uh, what we were doing, uh, pop, we were doing pop, and it was like this dictionary dot pop, I want to pop, let's say, year. So this year will be deleted. See, so the original one had ear in it. So this ear is deleted and then it is reprinted. So that's about it. Making a dictionary. When do we need dictionary? When we don't want to actually access items the way we access them in an array with their indexes. When do we need dictionary? When we need to access items as we access items in dictionary like with their key values, their names. All right, so we will maintain dictionary the way we maintain original dictionaries, English dictionary, Urdu dictionary. All right, and then you can add item to it, you can delete item from it, you can look through every single item in the dictionary, you can find the item with in operator, and that's about it. So this was a disputed topic. Uh, how it is disputed is, if you syllabus, You won't find dictionary in this particular chapter, which is 4.1.2. It has got uh, linked list, binary trees, hash tables, stacks, queues, and all, but it does not have dictionary. Okay, so there is no dictionary. But when we go in uh, abstract data types, there is a, di a discussion of dictionary over here. So before this, New revision of 9608 dictionary used to be found in this algorithms list as well, but they have removed it from here. But I don't know if they have kept it deliberately over here or it was just left out of uh, um, of not knowing it. This is also present over here. I don't know. So describe the following uh, abstract data types and demonstrate how they can be implemented from appropriate built-in data types and ADT. So when we will be programming stack queues, dictionary, uh, linked list, and binary trees alongside, I will like you to know dictionary as well. Okay.